streets of Verona, another fight breaks out between the Capulets and the Montagues. When Volio insists on making peace while Tybalt, and being controlled by anger, refuses to accept his offer. The citizens grow restless, and Prince Aeschylus decrees his death sentence to anybody who disturbs the peace in the future. Tybalt grows furious and tells Romeo he shall finish with a fight. Romeo is found weeping inside his room by his cousin Benvolio. Romeo refuses to reveal his true feelings, but breaks it away to his cousin, after some convincing. He tells him that he is in love with Rosie. However, she does not feel the same way and Romeo is deeply saddened. Benvolio advises him to move on and find someone better he deserves. Meanwhile, a pursuer of Juliet named Count Paris asks Capulet for a daughter's name. Capulet tells Paris that she is only 14 and still too young to marry. He must wait another two years and the decision of marriage will be made by Juliet. Romeo discovers a party where Rosalind will be attending, and he insists on going. Little did he know, he will soon discover his true love Juliet. After the party, Romeo sneaks through the back orchard. He catches Juliet speaking with her and is gratefully delighted by her words. They see each other and falls in love before the sun rises. The two young lovers marry the next day. However, Romeo catches his friend and ends up killing Tipo as a defense to Mercutio's death. Prince Aeschylus sentences Romeo in banishment and is afraid of losing Juliet. The lovers meet each other once again with the help of Juliet's nurse and they profess their love one last time. Later on, Romeo hears of Juliet's death. Fortunately, he did not know the truth behind it. He rushes back to Verona to kill himself by Juliet's side. Juliet wakes up a minute after and finds Romeo dead. Juliet kills herself, and their deaths begin with reconciliation with the Capulets and the Monsters.